Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. The old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you hear and what you're seeing. Listen, y'all, today, hmm, what type of wahala be this now? Hey, listen, this lady from Nigeria, I'm going to say this sister from Nigeria, you're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing with your husband in Nigeria. And you're there. Life is hard. You tolerate that thing. Uh, the moment you enter this UK, the moment you have allowed yourself to be rich, not be rich, be rich. Now your husband is not good enough. You do not love him anymore. What type of wahala be this? Guys, this is serious. So this man has sold his land, all of his lands that he has. Filed for his wife, because he was in UK. He filed for her. She, was, she, she entered UK on a student visa. And when she went there, she finished university there. After the university ended, they offered her a permanent position. And offered her permanent documents. You would think this woman would put her husband on her documentation to say, well, then she is married. No. Mm -mm. This woman put that she was single. What type of wahala is this in this morning? Like, seriously. How can we get ahead? How can we build together if one person is busy planning to break apart? And I'm serious. That means the picture that you guys had together back home has changed. To the picture that she has in her head or he has in his head. But in this case, it's she. Guys, I remember I was working in a, in a hospital. And this patient came in. And he was always arguing and shouting and everything. And the, the staff, they got tired. They said, nurse, please, I'm begging you. Help this man. Because we do not want to hear his mouth today. I said, okay, no problem. He said he wants to speak to manager. I said, fine. They sent him in to speak to me. As he's sitting there, I hear the strong accent and realize he was Nigerian. And I said, good morning, sir. How can I help you? He was shouting and shouting and shouting. When he finished shouting, I said, okay. When you finish shouting, I would like for you to speak to me so I can understand what is happening so I can help you. He stopped. He looked at me. He said, my sister, where are you from? I say, I'm from Jamaica. He said, that's why you're so respectful. Because these people in here, they do not respect people. And he was so angry. So I said to him, what is it that you need? How can I help you? Okay. He told me everything he needed. I contacted the doctor I was working with. And I said, hey, Dr. So-and-so, this is what I'm going to send over to pharmacy. Just letting you know ahead of time when you see it on this chart. Okay, fine. I did that. When I was done with him, I thought he was finished. I said to him, why are you so angry? What is happening? He said to me, my sister, it's a long story, but I will give you the short version. He said, I left Nigeria and I went to New York and I was driving yellow cab. I will never forget this man. He said, I was driving yellow cab and I drove it for years. I filed for my wife. My wife came over. He said after his wife came over, he was driving taxi night and day so he could put her in school. She went to school for six good years. After she finished, she went and she got her nurse practitioner. He said after she received her nurse practitioner, she started acting funny. She does not invite him to any job outings, any Christmas parties, nothing. So he said, what is this? You have changed. She sure have. He came home one day to see his house empty. Everything is gone. All furniture gone. Everything is gone. And she left him a note. Divorce papers. You're telling me. I said to him, what did you do? He said, I didn't do anything. I did not know. I didn't know. I didn't know how to respond to that. So what he did in return. He said he was end up homeless. So he started living in his taxi. And after a while, no one wants to take his taxi because his taxi started to smell. Because him himself, he started getting depressed. 
now that no one wants to take his taxi, he cannot afford to pay the car note. So he had to give up the taxi. He left New York City and that's how he ended up in this state. And I said, really? He said, yes, I end up in this state homeless on the side of the road. I said to him, so what do you do now? This man said, I'm a professional artist and I paint very well. He said, would you believe I sat outside the hospital and I painted the city hall, the entire building. So it took him a whole year. He painted it. And the mayor for the city was walking in one day. And the mayor said to him, sir, you did a beautiful job. Can we hang it inside city hall? And he said, sure. He gave it to them as a donation to hang in city hall so people would remember him by. He said, what frustrates him? He has never set his two korokoro eyes on that thing. Because the fact that he's homeless, they would not let him in the building. Your own work that you want to see just to feel proud that you've done something, that you've accomplished something, they will not allow you to go into City Hall. So now he was filing to try to get his painting back. He said, if I'm not good enough to go and see my own painting on the wall, then you people should not have my painting hanging there. Women, when you leave your country, when you leave other countries, whether Africa or the Caribbean, and the men too, Please, if you know you do not want to be with these men, allow them be. I'm begging you. This man sold all his land and now he has to return to Nigeria because his time is overdue. When the wife could have helped him, instead she put that she's single. Like seriously. Anyways guys, please watch this video. And please comment below. I know a lot of women going to come out and say, oh, men always do it too or whatever. No, I'm talking about this particular story. Let's not drift off in any other thing. We're talking about this. And anybody else that have gone through something like this or know someone like this, please comment below. But for this one, this one is fire. I beg. Please, guys, watch, share, and subscribe. Go ahead. Enjoy. I will tell them all. I said they are about to come and read law. I did everything. I sold my lands. I'm not allowed to be restraining orders. I sold my lands. So back your teeth. Then, then, then you Make me go. School. You know the shit. I leave all you can say. do. Land now you see what you will say. This all you can do to pay me back. Pack, pack, pack. Leave my house. So go, go. Leave them my children. So they won't leave me. So they won't go for me. Say, say, I, 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 Me and you go go and come back to see once make I go kiss you go cook for you. You see the government? 
So sit down to say this this one. Since my husband brought me to the UK, I am no longer in love with him. Since my husband brought me to the UK, I am no longer in love with him. That will come and pick me. He did the necessary document from Nigeria to the UK. Now I have just started working. But I don't love my husband. I am no longer in love with him. Okay, guys, what did you think? Now, the most sinister way you could do something, how is it that you break up with this man on Facebook? Facebook, this is your husband, not your boyfriend, not your date, your husband. And you go to Facebook to ask their opinion. Where was Facebook when you two was getting married? How is it that you don't think of this man's feelings and emotions? Are people thinking? How do you go to Facebook to tell them, oh, I do not love this man anymore. And I do not want to be with it anymore. And he does not understand. And this and this and that. Hey. Guys. This world we're living in. People are all for themselves. Greed. Do you hear me? Greed and selfishness. Is not a good combination. I do not know how far people think they will go. When they do things to people. Karma. Is real. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this story. I'm hoping it helps you open your eyes. If you're planning to do something like this to someone's son, do not do it. I beg. Stay where you are and let them stay where they are. Do not use people's children. Even though they're adults, they're still someone's child. I beg. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sharing. And commenting and know that Tony loves and appreciates you guys. Have an awesome, wonderful, magnificent day.